Last time on the Artistic Biker, we did a uh, slug because I didn't feel like doing anything. I had so, so very much to do that I didn't, I didn't feel like, uh, I feel, didn't really feel like doing anything because it was all just overwhelming. So I felt like a slug. And the truth be told, I haven't done anything since then. I've got my, uh, you know what? We're on, we're on YouTube. I can show you stuff that I've done. So. You know, I, I do stuff like I go to figure drawing. When I was on Ustream, I couldn't show the figure drawing stuff because the uh, Ustream would kick you off automatically. But now that we're, if we're going to broadcast straight to YouTube, that's something I, that's something I've got to get used to so that I can have the stuff here to show you what I've done. Um, do, 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 do. Last technical question. No, no, I'm not using OBS. I'm using uh, Vid Blaster Studio. I've been using Vid Blaster Studio for, uh, I don't know, since about our second or third month of doing this, so well over nine years. But Vid Blaster lets me organize all the cameras. I've never tried OBS. I understand that OBS is really, really cool. I've never tried it. I think it's, I think OBS is free. Uh, Vid Blaster is not, but Vid Blaster lets me keep the keep the cameras organized. Lets me organize the sound feed off of my off of my uh, uh, snowball mic, my my uh, blue snowball mic. Uh, lets me record locally, screen capture. I can set up stills and a green screen and do all kinds of cool stuff. But I am I'm answering questions in chat. If, for those of you not watching the live show, uh, Pensacola Art is asking me t technical questions. And I love the technical questions because at heart, I am a nerd. And so uh, when people ask me technical questions, I'm like, oh yes, please, let me let me address that because that's easier for me to, <laughs> it's, that's actually easier for me to address than the, than the artistic questions because the artistic questions, uh, I don't like the term self-taught because, uh, you know, I didn't, do, I didn't learn in a vacuum. I had uh, I have an art teacher wife, and I have uh, you know there's millions of hours of resources on YouTube and and Udemy and Skillshare and and uh, Craftsy and all kinds of places where I've taken lessons from other people, and and then I go to my art labs on Tuesday night where I do figure drawing. So it's not I don't know that it's really fair to say that I'm self self taught, but I'm not classically trained. So that's Let's stick. Let's stick with that. I'm not. I'm not classically trained. Uh, because I'm not classically trained, when people ask me art questions, all I can tell them is, "Well, this is this is how I do it." You know, you may do it. A, you may do it a different way, but this is how this is how I do it. So, let's just so the page here. That way the the uh, water media won't just soak into the file folders because this book is made out of file folders. You can't talk, can't talk, paying attention to where the paint is going. Somehow I end up with paint everywhere, especially when it flicks off the edge of the pages when I get careless down here at the end. I think it was Cinnamon Cooney on Facebook the other day asking a loaded question, what's the strangest place you've ever gotten paint? I'm not going to ask questions like that because I know you. I know the kinds of answers you guys will come back with. <laughs> well, I was painting nude this one time and you just won't believe where the heat gun The other thing about broadcasting live to to uh, face to YouTube is I can't I can't pause it I can't I can't uh, I can't come back and edit out the hair drying because as soon as I'm done this thing's live to the world as soon as I'm 
as soon as I'm finished. This thing's live to the world. Picola says she liked my episode where I did faces in the hotel room. Maybe we can do some faces tomorrow. Or next week, rather. I'm trying to decide. Right now, I'm trying to decide if I want to leave this white or if I want to go back over it with a black. I have this... I have this black. I wonder if it would be... If it would be better to paint this... The, uh... The sunset on... On... On a black background. I don't... I don't think I've ever tried that. But I know it would be easier than trying to dull everything else around the light if I started with dulling and brought the light out. So let's try that. Let's do something new. That's that's kind of what we're about here, right? Trying trying stuff new. I haven't haven't done a whole lot of new stuff in a long time. So we've got one coat of gesso on there. I have to. Hopefully, this stuff hasn't expired. You can't see what I'm doing, but I have this uh, interior paint black. I mean, I could I could use this, but I don't know. I've already got this open. So let's see. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've done a, a live YouTube event. Hang on a minute, I gotta show you guys a picture. I don't know if you were paying attention at the beginning, if you guys were around in the beginning when uh, when I said where all of where all of my people were. Look at this. If I can get that picture to turn. Look at there. There is my beautiful young bride, my grandbaby, Unique with Chantiel LaFontaine, my dad, girl two, boy two, and my grandmother all getting ready to eat dinner for my granny's for my granny's birthday. My mom's taking the picture. That's why they're not here, is because they're they're busy eating a golden corral which is we're we're a bunch of hick rednecks that's my favorite one of my favorite places to eat one of my dad's favorite places to eat one of my mom and granny's favorite places to eat my wife is suffering through it because she prefers hibachi <laughs> but the funny thing is is it was her dad it was one of her dad's favorite places to eat too so when he was still alive, we used to go there all the time with her family and, and my family. and So, that's where they are, is at the Golden Corral instead of here. And they're in Oklahoma instead of here. Heat gun. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some little bull clips to put right there in the corners and stuff. One of the, I'll tell you one of the good things about working in this small journal is how quickly everything dries.
we've made some progress in the studio. I put some I put some shelves up over here. So we've started getting boxes put away so that my beautiful young bride can can art with us on her side of the studio. She doesn't want to art on my side of the studio. She says I get paint all over her stuff. I don't uh I don't really know how she can say that. Let's pick one. Which which one of these do you think we ought to do? Can you see them? I like this one. If it'll ever turn over. I like this one because it has all those colors on it. And then I also like this one because of all the reds and all the reds and oranges in there and the purples. I think that's gorgeous. That's I don't know. It's tough. It's a tough call. And then look at this one with the clouds. I mean, that's a tough call. Cars. I don't know if I want to go that. I don't know if I want to get that in depth tonight with cars and lights and stuff all around there. But there's some pretty clouds in here. Now look at that. What do you think about that one? Let's do that one. Let's do a combination. Let's let's mix and match them. I don't know that I want to put that house in there though. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how I feel about it when I get there. Like I said, this is one of those things where you just have to kind of feel your way. You have to kind of figure out what you want to do and maybe maybe figure it out as you go. Where is my chip brush? Dang them kids. I think I think they've run off with all my all my brushes. I said this last week. I'm gonna to have to go and buy new brushes. That's heartbreaking. Right? Get us some yellow over here. With the black, I don't know if we need so much yellow. The yellow is not opaque. So because the yellow is not opaque, I'll have to mix it with a lot of white to make it work. And then we'll need some red. And I think I think we're gonna skip the the blue and use some purple and orange. I don't know that we need the blue. Make it a mountain. There you go, Pamela. Make it a mountain, she says. And we'll put some happy little trees. That's a good idea. We'll just put some happy little trees. Uh, orange. I was going to go ahead and use some prefabricated orange. Not very much. I want my shades of orange, but there's some areas where I just want to fill. So, let's see. So if I wanted to make that a mountain... Ooh, where's my palette knife? If I wanted to make that a mountain, I could take some purple on my palette knife. You know, since we brought up since we brought up Bob Ross and I could just come across here you gotta get stuff out of your way because you gotta have room for the handle I could just just do that, right? I like that plan. I'm going to zoom the camera back just a little bit. That's the opposite of back. There we go. There we go. 
And then, let's see. Okay, I'll tell you what. While that's while that's drying, we'll come in here with uh, a little bit of uh, orange and white. And we'll we'll simulate bushes down here. See what I mean about it not being opaque? It may not have been that hot of an idea to uh, to go with the black background. We will find out, but it's okay because we're using acrylics, so we can we can get it worked out. Tell you what, let's just keep let's just keep going with that. I like I like where that's going, so let's just keep going with that. Now we don't we probably don't even need our photo reference anymore. Because at this point now we're just back we're just kind of using imagination, aren't we? We've already changed the house to a mountain. So, see why I need the bull clips? Man, there's a glare from that light right there in my face. There we go. Now, where's that palette knife? Let's go with, we'll get some white. some pink here. Load that up.
probably not. I don't think that's quite dark enough. I'm going to add. I'm going to add some some purple into that. Just a little bit of purple into that. I just don't think that's. I just don't think that's quite dark enough. Because on the other side, I've watched a lot of Bob Ross. Can you tell? I've watched a lot of Bob Ross. So we're going to come across here. with the white and we're going to come this way with it. Man, I, there. Like that. Yeah. Let's see here. Now, now is when our photo reference comes in handy. Y'all need to see my coat. Next thing I know, you'll be showing up in my door, stealing my phone. So now, let's take some white and yellow. I want to make sure I didn't. I want to make absolutely sure there's no red paint still left in my brush. So now. Let's take some white and yellow, because like I said, the, the uh, yellow is not opaque. So I'm going to take some white and yellow, and I'm going to add right here. sure some water's on there so it spreads and then I'm just going to fan that out see what happens when you pick up some red there it messes it up now Let's try. There's my chip brush. I was mad at them kids. There's my chip brush. Is it true that Bob Ross never sold a painting? No. It is not true that Bob Ross never sold a painting. Bob Ross sold lots and lots and lots of paintings. Bob Ross. Look, look at you. Bob Ross was in the Air Force. And when he got out of the Air Force, he said he never wanted to raise his voice again. While he was in the Air Force, he was stationed in Alaska. And when he got out of the Air Force, he said he never wanted to raise his voice again. And he had learned to paint. I forget the guy he learned to paint from, which is sad because... He, they were good friends, and then when Bob Ross started doing the same gig, the guy got mad at him, and they weren't they weren't good friends anymore. But they uh, they were good friends when he was learning how to paint from them. One was the the uh, magic of oil painting, and the other was the joy of the the joy of painting. But no, it's not it's not true that he never sold a painting. I probably should have done all of this sky first. That's what Bob Ross would have done. I probably should have done all of this sky 
first instead of trying to had a bug flying in my mouth instead of trying to manipulate it around these mountains I probably should have just done all of this sky first but I think it'll get us there hey Miss Allie all right now let's figure out how to put some clouds in here wish I had my drink with me I don't know. What time is it? Good Lord, it's already 7.15. Now let's put some clouds in here. Let's go with... Uh, get a little purple. A little bit of this white. And let's just... especially dark right there. Okay. Now the sun's below. So because the sun is below, we can come back with this generic orange here. And we don't want it to mix because it'll turn to mud, right? pieces right there too. And then take some of this yellow and white mix because remember the yellow is not opaque without it. Bye Pandora's box. And so because the sun's over here, we can take this and we can just do that. But remember, we want, to, we want to be careful. We don't want it to mix because that'll just make mud in that purple. What do you think about that? I'm going to get a little finer brush over here, if I can find one. I'm going to take that same paint right there, and I'm just going to kind of highlight these bushes over here. just a little bit of white. Not a lot, because we don't want we don't want the white to be obscured. The white's got to be our brightest point, right? So we don't want we don't want it obscured by the by using too much.
brushes and none of them are the one I want. Here, let's try this one. Feather that a little. And we're going to feather that a little. And feather that a little. Is that who Pandora's box is, Dorothy Dot? Okay. So now we need a phrase to go with that. And I bought this book. I don't know. I haven't looked at this yet. I bought this book. The 2,548 best things anybody ever said. Let's see if there's something in there about sunsets. Let's see if there's a... I don't, I don't even know if there's an index. There's a, I have no idea. Index of authors. Index of subjects and keywords. Okay, so let's see if there's anything in here about sunsets. Now, how do you know, how do you know if this is a sunset or a sunrise? Anybody want to take a guess at that one? I did a little research on that before the show. And when I say a little, I mean, you know, very little. One nine five zero. Quote one nine five zero. What is quote one nine five zero? So I did a little research. Thanks, Miss Allie. Pandora's box is dot. And they say that if the colors are centered more on the sun, it's a sunrise. And if the colors are scattered more, it's a sunset. And that's because throughout the day, the uh, you get industry, people stirring up dust, driving around, wind blowing dust around. Uh, you you get uh, pollutants in the air from the factories. Ooh, I like that. You get pollutants, you pollutants from the factories, and it and it scatters the light. But in the mornings, the wind has died down. Usually, the wind has died down overnight, and. The uh, let me dry this real quick. In the mornings, the the wind has died down overnight, and the dust has settled, and the factories have been closed, and the skies the skies clear, the dew, the moisture has pulled everything out of the air, so the air has filtered itself, the atmosphere has filtered itself, and so the colors are more focused around the sun. That's why you get the the blue and then the the white when the sun comes up and all that but in the sunset everything's reds and yellows and purples because of the because of the scattering yeah I thought that was really I thought that was really interesting but Kathy says it's because the sky is dark at the top but the sky is dark in a sunrise too in the sunrise the sky is dark at the top too so the it's it's they say that in a in a painting or in a picture you can tell because because of the lighting if it, if the lights are if the light is scattered and if it's reds and blues and if it's if it's reds and purples and oranges and it's scattered it's it's more likely a sunset and if it's more if it's more yellows and whites then it's a sunrise because of the dust and stuff and then if you want to know if you're watching a film hang on let me dry this real quick if you want to know can a film whether it's a sunrise or a sunset The sun, if you're above the if you're above the 23rd north parallel, then the sun rises and goes to the right. And then it sets in an angle to the right. So if you're watching a movie and the sun is rising this way, it's because the filmmakers were lazy 
I didn't get up in the morning to film the sunrise. They filmed the sunset and ran in reverse trying to trick you. <laughs> Neil, Neil Tyson DeGrasse, or however you say his name, he's, he's the one that said that. He said, if in a movie you're watching a movie and the sun rises this way to, to the left, he said that's because they were, they were lazy and they uh, didn't get up early and film a sunrise. They just stayed up late and filmed the sunset and uh, tried to run in reverse to fool you. If you want a place in the sun must first leave the shade now the phrase goes if you want a place in the sun you must first leave the shade of the family tree but I don't think I want to say of the family tree. I think I just want to, I think I just want to leave it. You must you must first leave the shade. It probably makes more sense of the family tree, but I I don't like it. So I'm gonna stay with what I have. You know what, that is too fat and too inefficient for what I wanted it. Let's do it with this. Here we go. There we go. Ah! That little curled up book is giving me fits. I'm getting tennis elbow over here. It's weird. Isn't it funny how when you get older you just get these weird aches and pains out of the blue? You're sitting there minding your own business and all of a sudden you're like, I wasn't even playing tennis. Can't talk, Arden. I know this is riveting. Riveting entertainment. Riveting. 
Nothing like watching the top of a guy's head while he letters a page. I've been taking self self paced penmanship classes. I ordered I ordered a book on on penmanship. I've been practicing every night. So if you want a place in the sun, you must first leave the shade. It probably doesn't make any sense without saying, of the family tree. But that's what I'm going with. I'd show you my penmanship stuff, but I left it upstairs. So next week, like I said, I've been, I was really scrambling trying to figure out how to uh, how to get this set up for tonight. We couldn't do a pre-show sing-along, so I... I didn't get to play the music and get everything set up prior to the show. And that kind of messed with me. And then the stuff I did... Come on. There we go. And then the stuff I did have set up wasn't set up in the right manner. It was all set up for Ustream. And we didn't Ustream. So, here we go. Here we are on our very first full featured episode on the YouTube. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is my favorite night of the week when I get to art with my besties. Let's see. Let me see if I can show it to you. There we go. If you want a place in the sun, you must first leave the shade. Okay. So this is my favorite night of the week when I get to art with my besties. I look forward to it every week. Be sure and tune in next week. Same artistic biker time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go, before we go. Uh, Pamela sent easels. Let's look at the easels. Woo. I love it when people send me easels. If you want to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com and we'll use your work to inspire other people's work. So, Pamela sent image. Uh oh. I don't, I'm not sure that your image came through, Pamela. Wait, it's loading. It's just taking some time to load. I see it now. There's a little bar going across there. We're just waiting on it to load. I love it when people send me stuff. This is something I should have had prepared beforehand. I wasn't I would forgotten about checking my email, but she sent this at 7.03. We were already... Yeah, I'll do faces next week, Pensacola. I'll do a few faces in the the uh, sketchbook, and then I'll do, a, uh, I'll do a bigger face in the journal. Here we go. Uh-oh. Look at there. Pamela's been sewing. Pamela's been sewing. Let's see what's it say. I've not been doing much lately, so I thought I would share what my daughter's been doing. Okay, her daughter's been doing. These are children's crocheted blankets that she makes for children's hospitals. So her daughter's been crocheting. And then tonight, she painted along. Oh, she sent me a sunrise. Ooh, I thought she painted along. Look at there. She sent us a sunrise that we can paint. That's a gorgeous sunrise, too. Sunrise or sunset? So I bet it's a sunrise. See the blue and the yellows? I bet it's a sunrise. Let's see. Is that what she said? That's what she said. Sunrise. So maybe I'll paint that on a mini on Monday. 
and I'll put it in that box with that. Uh, I'll put it in that box with. I'll put it in that package with that uh, burning match that I was supposed to send to you. I'm a horrible person. Horrible. Horrible person. Okay. So, guys, again, thank you so much for joining me. This is my favorite night of the week when I get to art with my besties. I look forward to it every week. Be sure and join, join me next week. Same artistic biker time, same artistic biker channel. And then I'm going to dance until I can see myself dancing on the YouTube because I think the lag is pretty close. Ooh. Dancing, dancing, dancing. I'm dancing. Okay, peace out, yo. Mwah.